Hey Aries, so I'm here to do the generals from now until the 31st of October, so happy Halloween. Um, I will be extending these readings, so the, uh, the extended will be in the description box below if you're watching on YouTube, so hit the little V. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, I'm trying to get it out there a little bit. Uh, on Instagram you can find the extenders in my link in my bio, just click on the Vimeo and it'll take you straight to my Vimeo account for the links to your extenders. Always check your sun, moon your rising and your venus so aries what's going on with my aries for this week awakening i think gemini had this um so we've got the awakening looking at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill it's important to be yourself so i feel aries i feel like you are kind of like opening up to different aspects of your life um opening up to different opinions um thinking things differently you know that type of energy going through the awake knock angel gabriel energy there he likes to wake people up with his trumpet <laughs> what's crossing that is the dreamer so what's crossing that is the energy of having a leap of faith taking a leap of faith within yourself or within the situation a leap of faith follow your dreams and unexpected opportunity there could actually be unexpected travel there as well with the dreamer card so your power in this situation is the eight of air so the, your power in the situation is to get out of this an illusion of being trapped lack of self-confidence afraid to take the action so it's coming round because you feel it i just say your power i didn't mean to say that i meant to say why is it? it's coming round. um it can feel like you're stuck so where depending on where you are in the world i know there's lockdowns where in, i'm in england at the minute so there's not that many lockdowns or regulations or laws going on about it all at the minute uh but i do know in other places there is like lockdowns and things so if if you're in the, those types of places that could be significant but the eight of air is like a, a feeling of being trapped in the mind so it can be anxiety it can be fear of the future but what the divine is saying is this is part of your awakening so it's having a leap of faith in in yourself and the divine to open new doors to follow your dreams there is unexpected opportunities coming forward for you so in the recent past for my areas we've got balance so the need for balance and moderation cooperation and compromise wait for perfect timing so i feel like you've been waiting for something for quite a while waiting on perfect timing waiting for someone to give you perfect timing so at present we do have date of fire date of fire can be communication a lot of communication sorry uh, data fire can be a lot of communication a lot of things happening at once events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things happen at once so anything that you've been feeling has been put on delay because we do have a temporary standstill you're kind of coming out of that energy now and going back into your own energy which is the fire energy which i like and i feel like you're bringing these into play you know the delays being over but i feel like there could be some communication coming in or you might want to talk to someone because near future we've got the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune spins in your favour, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side. All major arcana, past, present and future. And you're crossing energy. So why is this coming right now for Aries? Because you've stood up for it. You've not given in. Defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, but choose your battles wisely. So your power in, in this situation is to defend your beliefs and decisions you know in how you move forward outside influence to that is the sun happy outcomes brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself so you are coming out of a time where you've had a lack of confidence you may have had a bit of a confidence hit uh someone could have brought that about and then we've got hopes and fears we've got the ace of air so that's getting truth and clarity could be dealing with a gemini libra or aquarius Brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. So you could be like kind of going over your life. And again, that's what I was getting at the beginning. Like seeing truths, um, thinking about things differently. There's a new like kind of way of thinking, kind of way of seeing things. And your outcome is the world. You've got a lot of major arcana areas. The world, a job well done. Joy, contentment and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. Spiritual awakening is massive in your reading at the moment so i'm going to get some clarification on this for you for aries from now until october 31st some clarification please so we've got the awakening to be in the situation the seven of wands in reverse no 
So you have put yourself on a, um, I, don't know why I, said, I don't know why I said no then, unless you've learnt the art of saying no, that's a power in itself. Uh, the Seven of Wands, I feel like you went through a time though where you were tired of standing up for yourself, uh, tired of trying to justify yourself. But within that, I feel like you've gained some kind of clarity because stopping justifying yourself and stopping having to put your thoughts or opinions across or where you're coming from has kind of put you in dreamer mode. So, which is the full card, which is about, you know, having a leap of faith, opening new doors, the Knight of Cups, because there's new offers coming in. So you may want to reach out to someone else. They might want to reach out to you. So it's bringing up, you're opening yourself to new offers. It could be in love. It's definitely in emotions. We've got Cups. Could be a water sign passes, Cancer Scorpio. The Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race, but it's like you've been thinking about everything most logically. I feel like you've been assessing everything in life. The sun. It's time to be happy, but the planets are aligning for you to be happy, you know, so you could definitely be feeling it. We've got the sun twice. So the challenge is only for you to have a leap of faith in yourself and go out and chase your happiness. So the eight of airs to why it's coming round, a lack of confidence, an illusion of being trapped. The three of cups, it's time to be happy. It's time to come out of that air energy. The three of cups, the knight of swords, only you can take the action to better your life. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, NJ. But I feel like this is you taking the action to better your life. We've got the death card. We're in Scorpio now. You know, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I feel like you are going through a major, like, ending and beginning within yourself, like an ego death type energy. So you could be really looking at yourself. You know, the ace of swords, truth and clarity. You know, it's like the fog is lifting and you're seeing everything with brand new fresh eyes. You know, you've gained some kind of truth and clarity and you're seeing through the BS. If there's BS going on around you, you know, you've gained some kind of truth and clarity. So in the past, we've got the Nine of Cups in reverse. So wishes are kind of not being granted, not loving life, always waiting on someone else or waiting for perfect timing, needing for balance. And then we've got judgment. And I feel like the judgment was you, like a wake-up call. Something kind of like stirred your soul. Very spiritual reading Aries. And the chariot. So then we've got positive movement forward, sign of cancer there. So the eight of fire delays are over. There's a many things happening at once. Six of swords. So there could definitely be um, travel involved in this. But the six of swords, she's been through all the lessons. She's packed up lessons. I don't want to go through that again. You know, the universe has a funny way of if we don't learn his lessons, they can deliver it in a different package until we do. And I feel like you finally got to the point of, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not unwrapping any more packages unless I know that the something good inside them. So we're going from storm waters to calmer waters. Things are going to get calmer. But delays are over. Things are going to start happening quite fast. Thick and fast. The ten of wands. The burdens are going to be dropped as well. So... And the Nine of Swords. So if you've been having sleepless nights, anxiety, you know, depression, feeling like you need comfort in that side, you know, in that sense, you're coming out of that time. You know, you're bringing your own comfort. The Wheel of Fortune spins in your favour, the Eight of Pentacles. You could be recovering of finances. Um, you could be going through a recovery, like a mental health recovery, you know, that type of thing. But the Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favour in regards to a recovery. We've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So no longer feeling left out in the cold, no longer feeling lonely, no longer feeling that you're the only one who thinks like that. So you could be resonating towards people who think on the same level as you. We do have karmic justice coming in as well. So if there's legal matters, there could be contracts coming in, which help recover finances. And we've got the nine of wands, a wounded warrior. So you're turning the pain into a power and moving forward. So there's definitely an aspect of a spiritual awakening going on in this reading. The eight of swords, you're coming out of that and you've got that there, the eight of air. That's why it's coming around. You're coming out of that energy now. You're no longer being bound to the past. You know, you're no longer being tied down by past situations. I've got a road map in my head then. So I don't know if some of my areas are planning on going on like a road trip. Um, or it's just like your path is starting to open up in different directions and you're about to see it. We've got the four of pentacles in reverse. So letting go of anything that no longer serves you. I'm getting travel quite a lot. The three of uh wants so abundance knowing that something is coming to you or you're going to something you know knowing that your ships are going to come in because we've got spiritual strength could be going towards a leo um you've got the spiritual strength you gain strength 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there, the Queen of Swords. But I feel like this is your power. You're in that energy because you're not scared of cutting the cords to things that no longer serve you. You know, you're seeing everything totally different. And the Queen of Swords, she's most definitely like that. The Ten of Swords in reverse. You've done a lot of healing. All the swords that have been put in your back that you may have stabbed yourself in the back. Other people may have done that. You get it, you're letting go of that and kick in other people's opinions uh, in your reading. The Ten of Cups, because you deserve emotional fulfilment. They could be traveling towards a new home, uh, relocation, but you deserve happiness. It's about just being happy. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork makes dream work. So there could definitely be new offers opening up within finances to recover finances that have been lost. Uh, it could be going towards someone who wants to work as part of a partnership rather than a relationship. And we've got the Hermit Virgo energy there. Well, the Hermit goes inwards and does the inner work. And I feel like that's the, the aspect of the spiritual awakening that I keep picking up. So your power is a seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions, but stand. But you don't have to battle. If someone doesn't agree with you, then that's totally fine. As long as you stand true in what you think is true. Because, again, that brings the Wheel of Fortune. So because you're not like bowing down to other people... You're spinning your own wheel of fortune. You may have done a lot of people pleasing in the past. Just putting it out there. Yeah, so in the past we've got the tower. Something brought down, but it happened for a reason because it brings the sun. So I feel like you're starting to see the blessings within that lesson. So we've got the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, Passes, Cancer, Scorpio energy there. But I feel like this is you getting on top of your emotions, feeling more invested in yourself, the star sign of Aquarius so balance being brought in you know the universe is saying you deserve these rewards because you've been patient the seven of pentacles you know the seeds been planted you've been planting these seeds for a while the divine have been planting these seeds for a while and you're finally getting there you know but your patience is going to pay off and we've got the world as your outcome and we've got the lovers the sign of gemini so there could be options opening up in love the lovers card is options and the three of swords in reverse see so you're healing your heart and you know ready to share it with someone else finances are looking amazing ten of pentacles money in the bank security you know stability and it looks like that's all you want we've got the empress she is the queen of manifestation she sows the seeds in order to reap what she sows some of my uh, areas could be looking at investing investments i don't know why i just got investments we've got the five of wands you're coming out of times of karma drama battles uh th life isn't meant to be a battle and i feel like you're realizing that yeah the four of swords so i feel like some of my areas is around being more sleep healthier sleep uh the busy mind is kind of like quieting down because patience i want to keep saying patience is a virtue but you know we've got temperance there sagittarius energy you could be going towards sagittarius season um but you could have a strong Sagittarius around you. But the High Priestess, November could be significant, very significant for you. The High Priestess, listen to your intuition. And that's why we're getting your paths. I feel like there's a new path opening up and you're not seeing it just yet. So if this is where I leave you, I'll leave you with love and light. And if I join you on the extenders, I'll see you over there now. Bye.